What is up, Storm Chasers? Um, <laughs> I mean, listen, y'all saw the title, okay? We need to get right on into it. Diddy's Wonder Bread, Dope Dealer, Dope Man, Dope Man, Can I Have Another Hit, Is uh, was arrested for possession in Miami, all right? Just the other day, we was out in Miami, all right? We still don't know where Diddy at. Where's Waldo? Where's Diddy? Diddy Vessel Pop. Where's Honeycomb? Where's Daddy? Where's Brother Love? With no love for them children that he left in that house to get arrested while he was halfway across the country on his way to being halfway across the world. All right? Now, don't y'all remember when I pulled up that Sloan Bella video the other day? And she said, I think he's on drugs as well, which, you know, pretty much everybody in the industry is on drugs. But still, still. Dope, man. Dope, man. Dope, man. Dope, man. Dope, man. Dope, man. Oh, we going to sing that Wonder Bread song. Oh, we going to sing. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm going to put up their picture while we sing it. Hold up. We're going to go over there to the neighborhood talk. Oh, my God. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread. Oh, we got that Wonder Bread news. That stale ass news. That rough ass news. Big pussy news. Pink pussy news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread. Oh. Want the bread off? Want the bread off? We got that want the bread news. Yeehaw! This ain't Texas, all right? This ain't Miami. Well, it is. It is all right. So they say that um apparently Diddy's uh white uh Coco Lina he was on that gasoline. All right. This is dealer right here. This is one of them, one of many, of course. His name is Brendan Paul. Is it Brendan or Brandon? Brendan, okay. Why, why is it that white men are always named Brendan, but then you will see black men named Brandon? It's interesting. But anyway, uh, they say he's 25 years old. I don't know about y'all, but that's definitely a rough-ass 25. That's a rough-ass 25. Like, sir, whatever you're smoking, snorting, injecting, or swallowing, I suggest that you stop. 25? 25? This man is at least 56. This man has filed bankruptcy two times and been through three divorces. This man got a 401k and has no clue when he's actually going to be able to retire. There is no way that this man is 25. 25? And what's some sores on that chin? You know what? I'm not even going to go there. He's definitely... Yeah, I want y'all to tell me what kind of drug do y'all think that he used? Because to me... He's giving meth. He's giving I huff paint. He's giving uh, uh, those. Remember, remember you went to school with those kids that started getting high off the dry erase markers. And then teachers had to like start monitoring these little white kids. It was a kid I went to school with named Austin. And Austin started sniffing the markers. And I remember that teacher saying, no, Austin, no, don't sniff the markers. The glue sniffers. They're the reason why when you got a damn uh, sinus infection and you go into Walgreens, you got to give them your ID and your passport to get a little uh, a, a little packet of Sudafed. It's people like him. Is it bath sauce? Is it K2? Is it good old Fenty? And I ain't talking about Rihanna. It's just ridiculous. So let me read the little article that came with it. 
They said, according to Rolling Stone, Diddy's alleged drug mule, Brendan Paul, was arrested in Miami on cocaine and marijuana charges. Oh, that cocaine. Oh, he got that gasoline. That cocaine. Did it be in your neck, Coca-Cola? Now, do y'all think Diddy likes his Coke before he bring in the BBCs, during or after? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you think he bring in the BBC? Shout out to Andre Hall. Does he bring in the BBC, you know, watch his girl with the white nails wrap her hands around that joint? Just like that. Do you think he's sniffing as the BBC is coming in to handle business? Or do you think he does it after? Do you think he ejaculates and then say, you know what, now I want to hit a coke? Or is it before? Or does he or does he sniff to get the party started? Between the liquor, the coca nah, the weed, the pills, this man was out of his mind. And why ain't none of y'all talking about the fact that when the BBC get done, he suck off the tip? Because don't think he ain't put no mouth to the dick. Don't think he haven't. Oh, yeah. See, I see. I, I see. I'm going to have to start explaining to y'all how the BDSM world works, how the lifestyle, because they call it LS, the lifestyle, how the swinging lifestyle works. You have cucks. You have stags. They're not the same thing. And a lot of cucks are bisexual. Or they tote the line. Oh, see, they left that part of the lawsuit out. We need to know. Is he a cleanup cuck? Does he like to be humiliated? We want to know. After the bull buses load, is he going in and eating it out like a good boy? We need to know. Is he sucking that cream off the tip? Or is he going in directly after? Because you know they say nut makes the best lube. I'm just saying. Oh, we got a whole lot of questions. Anyway, anyway. Uh, it said, coincidentally, the arrest came at the same time as Diddy's homes were being raided by Homeland Security. Police were working alongside um, ho uh, Homeland Security agents when the arrest was made at the Miami-Dade airport, according to the arrest affidavit. As of now, it's unclear if the arrests and the raids are connected. Of course they are. Come on, y'all. Use common sense. But Brendan was named in the sex trafficking lawsuit. Ooh, we got to come back and talk about that. Uh, against Diddy as the person who allegedly supplied the mogul with drugs. I mean, it is what it is. I want to know, did him and did he ever take this little white boy down? Uh oh, uh oh. Diddy and Brendan throughout the years. Now, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Let's back up. The boy ain't number 25. So how many years have y'all been around one another? This is what I need to know. The boy ain't nothing but 25. How many years has it been around? And then I also need to know, how do you become a drug mule by the age of 25? This is giving secret lovers. This is giving secret lovers. Let me tell you something, Brendan. I want, I want, I want to look you directly in the face when I say this. Okay. Are you listening? Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, I know you in handcuffs, so. Come here, come here. Um, you're a dummy, bitch. You would never be shit. Don't nobody want you. Don't nobody need you. You threw your life away for Diddy. The same person that threw everybody under the bus when the shit hits the fan. You wasn't even alive to really know who this really was. And you didn't got caught up and threw your life away for Diddy. You're a dummy, bitch. You will never be shit. 
You are a piss poor ass white person. And I hope that the government takes all of your assets and sends you back to your damn grandmammy's trailer park. Because what you really giving in the face is that your mama and daddy was brother and sister, you dumb, ignorant, wrong to bread, crack ass, crack ass bitch. understand you throw your life away for this all that privilege gone to waste you did all that to be a felon for the rest of your life <laughs> ain't no way in the world the only way you didn't been around him for all these years is that this little boy was sold to is that you as a little boy was sold to him the same reason why whoa shit. i'm glad i had short song i'm so sick of this camera moving well it's okay i'm going to my studio soon so it's fine so sick of the damn camera moving the same reason why diddy ended up with that little white girl that he adopted the same reason why he took Quincy from Al B. Sure. The same reason why he took Justin from Wolf. Hey, Quincy, now's a good time to start being in your daddy life, your real daddy. You know, Al B. Sure was knocking on heaven or hell's door, but it's looking like the Lord going to give him a few more years because the Lord said, I ain't going to let you join Kim right now. Your baby boy needs you. It's time to go be with your pappy. Your pappy. Justin, go to the graveyard and go see about your real pappy. Real pappy. Go see about your real pappy. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, Wolf was Diddy's bodyguard. You know, Quincy is Al B. Shore, son. We already know that. And like it was explained to me, the reason why Diddy loved taking these niggas' kids because it was no better way to conquer you than to take your son and raise him. I, I guess. I guess. We'll take your bitch and your kid. It's weird. It's very weird. It's very weird. All right? It's very weird. Now, we got to come back and talk about this new trafficking lawsuit. Um, I'm going to come back in probably 15, 20 minutes. What happened to Ava? I don't know. I got to dig. L listen, it's looking like all of my April, I'm going to be digging in a Diddy. No Diddy. <laughs> Pause. But Diddy, I'm going to dig into you and dig into you deep. <laughs> I got to dig in deep. Because it's so much stuff that's hidden, and I'm just gonna keep digging and digging and digging and digging and digging and digging till I get whatever it is that I'm looking for and that I'm searching for. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, just saying, I'm just saying. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, but I, I gotta, I gotta handle a little business. Um, and then we're gonna come back. My coffee is on its way. Uh, I'm happy you didn't go to revolt, baby. I'm happy I didn't go to revolt either. I would, I would be stuck in a contract. I would like no, I wouldn't be able to work with nobody. Oh, I wouldn't be able to talk about it. Oh, it'd be so bad. It'd be so bad. I'm so glad I didn't go over there to revolt. Talking about, I can have you in the room with Puff in 48 hours. What is Puff? What is up with Puff in 48 hours? He probably won't gonna let me sleep, won't gonna let me eat. Putting liquor and pills down my throat. I would have been hoping, hey, hey, listen, I'm 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 30. I'm too old. You like me young, I'm too old. Thank God I still got my virgin hole. Thank God. 
Thank God. <laughs> He's going to have to give him cheesecake from Jersey. Baby, I would have ran out that office to go get that cheesecake and never came back. <laughs> Are you, all, you want me to go get your cheesecake? Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I'm going to catch the train. And would have been at the nearest airport. It would have been gone. You have to tell him no. Thank God my virgin hole is still intact. Thank God. I don't even see how y'all can fit anything up there. I don't even see how y'all do that, but I, I ain't trying to understand. Another story for another day. Anyway, this ain't about me and my virgin hole. Uh, <laughs> speaking of my virgin hole, I've been, uh, yesterday I fasted for most of the day with just like water and electrolytes. And today I'm going to be on watermelon. Well, pretty much the next three days we'll be on like pretty much just like watermelon. And I just want to say I look and feel good and I slept great. I slept great. Hey, Diddy, when was the last time you slept? When was the last time you slept? I just want to know, when was the last time you slept, Diddy? Hey, yo, Miami, when was the last time you slept? I know right now, everybody that's ever been in them parties is shaking in their boots. Okay, we come back 15, 20 minutes. Like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you all later. It's